Would you like to say a big hello to your fans in India as being director of one of the biggest franchises? Oh, wonderful. Yeah, I'd love to say to, hello to everybody in India who, who watches these films and I hope they enjoy Hello's Part 1, which we're really excited about. This is your fourth, I mean, this is the third Harry Potter flick, but you're going to be, I mean, you've directed the fourth one as well. Yeah. So how does it feel? It's amazing. It's great to get to this phase, actually, because we've been making this movie for like a year and a half, two years, and um, you finally get to that place where you share it with everybody, and everyone's really excited about seeing it, and, and it's sort of watching it with an audience is such a different experience to watching it with your editor or your producers or the studio, because when you watch it with those people, all we can do is look at the detail and the things that are wrong and the things that we're nervous about and the things that we change. So before we share it with an audience or send it out into the world, you're just kind of deconstructing everything all the time. In fact, I still deconstruct everything when I watch it anyway, but um, you can't help it. But Now even the eighth one is going to be more dark and serious compared to the first few, uh, which were light-hearted. So as a conscious decision, how difficult was it? Or light, whichever way is. Um, you want to make it as intense as the material inspires in the book, basically. But what we try and do is, um, there are always little moments of humour. You know, Ron is always coming up with an odd quip or two, and there are some nice beats of humour in the movie, because without those, I think the whole thing would feel just too heavy. And it's already quite kind of dense. Um, so we try and lighten the darkness and leave in the darkness slightly with humour. But I quite like all that intensity, I always have done. I'm not complaining, in fact, I'm very excited about the fact, but whose idea was it to split it into two parts? Um, it, was a, it was a decision that we took together. It was me and my producers and the writer, Steve Clovis. The studio were involved in that process, and we just felt it was the right thing to do. Yeah, because there's more of Harry Potter. I mean, you get, like, two parts. Yeah, <laughs> so no, that's true. There's more of Harry Potter, and, and the first movie is slightly different to the second. I like the notion of the second movie being much more action-packed and, and um, more of a fantasy movie, and the first one's more melancholic and thoughtful. There are lots of special effects and makeup in all the Harry Potter movies, and especially this one, but did you ever have, like, you know, those moments in which you were struggling with an actor or a scene and you were just like, ah, oh, you know, I'll just cover him or her up with makeup or, like, you know, I mean, like, special effects? Generally, I have a wonderful casting director. She's called Fiona Weir. So we get, we get really nice actors. So I didn't have to cover up any of them with makeup or special effects, fortunately. Um, but it was always there if we had to, but we didn't have to. Something which is very new in this particular Harry Potter is the animated sequence about the Deathly Hallows, which personally I loved. So what was the decision behind that? Uh, well, that was originally it started out with Stuart Craig, who brought me these wonderful images of Victor Victorian shadow puppets. And then we found this marvellous animator called Ben Hibben. And Ben is a really gifted, uh, wonderfully gifted animator who kind of developed the whole Three Brothers story. And we're so proud of the work he's done for this movie. It kind of, it, we, the brief was to take us into a much more transcendental, uh, to sort of transcend the movie, take us into this really strange and beautiful and haunting place. And um, we kind of developed that notion with, with Ben and then he went off and, and, and worked on it for us and brought back such a beautiful sort of um, haunting piece. And I think he's done an absolutely smashing job.